Hello and welcome to another quick video here. This time we're going to tell you how to activate spaces and how to assign different applications to a different space. It's really easy. So you just open System Preferences, go to Expose in Spaces. This is a Leopard only tip. And at the top of the screen, click Spaces. You click you click Enable Spaces. When you get Leopard by default, it's, it's funny, but it's not enabled. Well, at least when I upgraded from Tiger to Leopard, it wasn't enabled. And you can say Show Spaces in your menu bar. You can check that, and you'll see a space number right up here in the menu bar. And you can click it and drop down and change to another space. I don't need that. And uh, here we see how many spaces I have. I have eight spaces. Let's activate spaces now. This is my spaces here. So you can go here. We can go here. All right, so... Of course, you can add rows here by clicking the Add button, or you can take rows by clicking the Minus button. You can add columns or delete columns as well from right there. Now, down here is Application Assignments. This is where you can assign an application to go into a certain space. So, you see I have a lot of them here. Let's add another one. So, we we'll click the Add button. We'll go and let's say... Let's find one of these uh, applications here, and let's let, yeah let's do flock. We'll click add. We'll find flock in the list. Of everything here, there it is. You see it says space one right there. So you just click it, and you can choose with space. I want it to be in space eight. So that's how you assign an application to a space. Now down here at the bottom, you see your activation uh, key button. I have F13 to activate it and click my middle mouse button. Or I could do the secondary mouse button. So when I right click, uh, I have um, I can activate spaces. But I want my secondary click, so I'll keep it that way. And of course, you can do control arrow keys and control number keys to switch to your spaces as well. So that's a few spaces tips. And thanks for watching this video. Please visit our website, youtube.com slash talking Mac and youtube.com slash techcentral1 and talkingmac.tk for the Talking Mac podcast.